down all the clues. With interesting people, there's a mystery to be solved. An adventure is unfolding, so why not get involved? Come on and read all about it. built this transporter way back when he thought Dunedin was a friend. Will it take us to Trialvron? When it's working. Mm. Do you think Trialvron's really going to explode? Dr. Couplet wouldn't lie, but I don't understand how she thinks we can help. There, it's ready. If we turn it on, it'll be activated. Let's go. Hold on, I don't know about this. The moment it's connected, Dunedin could transport back to Earth. I've got it. The transporter only works one way at a time. So we'll activate it, transport to Triavron, but leave one person behind to turn it off immediately. Yeah, then there's no way Dunedin could get down here. Lynn, you're a genius. <laughs> That's the type of clever plan Otto would have suggested. You hear that, Otto? Alex is saying nice things about you. It's okay, Otto. We'll find a way to help you, somehow. All right, who wants to go? Me, I'll go. I'm ready. Terrific. Nobody wants to stay. Look, Lynn, I should go. Dunedin doesn't know me. If it's a trap, I might be able to sneak up on it. But we know what to watch for. We've been there. But still, we should give it a try. Hold on. Pick one. What's this? One of these has stay written on it. Whoever picks it stays in the coach house. Okay. Sorry, Lynn. All right, I'm going to activate the transporter. As soon as we're gone, disconnect it. Wait a minute, how do we get back? Oh, no. We didn't think of that. Couldn't you connect it just for a few seconds every hour? Too dangerous, Alex. Besides, there's a time warp on Trialveron. If only we had some way to communicate. We do. TW. We can send messages through Theta. But Theta's broken. Not completely. Her memory banks were working. Let's see if she can still receive messages. TW to Kochos. Can you read me? Over. Alex, try it in reverse. Feta to TW. Can you read me? Over. Anything? Mm-mm, just dashes. I guess she can only receive messages. But that's all we need. When we're ready to come back, we'll send a message, and then can activate the transporter. Yeah. All right, but be careful. OK, we'll see you, Lynn. Here we go. Bye. Is this it? Yes. This is Dr. Couplet's machine. It looks like an organ. Well, it is. Sort of a word organ. How does it work? Think of a word. That's easy. Frightened. <laughs> right. Synonyms for frightened. Scared? Alarmed? Terrified. <laughs> Watch this. Antonyms for fright. Encouraged? Heartened? 
Reassured. Boy, I sure would feel reassured if I had this machine for my next English exam. <laughs> so would I. Oh. What was that? A sign of things to come, I fear. But never mind, at last you're here. It's been a while since we have met, but such good friends I can't forget. Hello, Dr. Couplet. This is Alex. <laughs> we meet amidst a dreadful plight, but you bring hope for future blight. At last, with your arrival, comes one more chance for our survival. Then it's true. Travron's really going to explode. Our sun's orbit is in decay. This is Trialveron's last day. To save us all from dire fate, the entire galaxy must evacuate. But how can we help? Your transporter is the key. While it's off, we cannot flee. A black hole it creates in space, blocking our escape to a safer place. You mean while our transporter's turned off, it creates a black hole in space? Which your spaceships can't get through? So you want us to activate the transporter and eliminate the black hole? Right, right. But, Dr. Couplet, if we activate the transporter, what proof do we have that Deneen won't use it to get back to Earth and leave you all behind to die? We must trust him. We have no choice. But listen to my wise old voice. Protect your world with clever plan, for he will trick you if he can. He wants to save himself, of course, and we need his tremendous force. He used his power, that is true, to beam my message through to you. I'm sorry if it caused alarm. It was not meant to do you harm. Well, it didn't really, but Otto and Theta's circuits were damaged. A temporary state you will discover. In minutes, they will both recover. Uh, good. <laughs> Guess we should talk to Lynn and see what she thinks. Yeah. To the control room, you must go and tell Lynn everything you know. This place is amazing. Huh. Christopher Anderson, we meet again. However, this time we must work together. The survival of my people depends on your transporter being activated. Eliminate the black hole. It is imperative that we relocate in another galaxy. How do we know you won't try and trick us? <laughs> you don't. But I do not wish to perish. So I offer you the chance to save my people as well. Call it a kind of bargain between us. We won't make any bargains until we can talk to Lynn. Very wise. Place your machine on the console and you will be in instant contact with the coach house. Look! Hi, guys. I can see you perfectly. What's happening up there? Lots. Are Otto and Thet all right? Fine. Otto's back to normal, and I can see you on Theta's screen. Good. Now listen, Lynn. Trial run is going to explode very soon. What? The entire population has to evacuate immediately to another galaxy. But as long as our transport is turned off, it creates a black hole in space, which blocks their escape. So they want us to activate it. Yeah, exactly. But I don't like it. <laughs> What's Otto saying? He wants some information about this new galaxy they're going to. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Dr. Couplet, are you there? I'm here to answer your request. Ask away, I'll do my best. Can you tell us something about the galaxy you want to go to? How is it chosen? Our scientists discovered two. Check the terminal to the left of you. 
Delos we could live upon, the same is true of Zebaron. But Zebaron was soon rejected by Dunedin, who selected. Punch D42 and S73, and you will see. Listen, Delos, a galaxy comparable in size to Trialvron. Its tiny population would not be strong enough to prevent our conquest. Wait a minute. If there are already people on Delos, Dunedin shouldn't be allowed to take it over. Maybe they've already agreed. I wouldn't think so. It says the population would not be strong enough to prevent our conquest. You're right. We can't let Dunedin go there. Now it also says that the other galaxy, Zebron, is uninhabited. Good. Let's make it a condition that they go to Zebron and that Dunedin goes first. The further he's away from the controls, the better. Right. Dr. Couplet, Dunedin, are you there? We've decided to activate our transporter, but only on two conditions. Dunedin must be forced to transport to the new galaxy. A grand demand. I see I'm not to be trusted. Very well, I accept. What is your second condition? That everyone goes to the galaxy Zebron and not Delos. That is out of the question. I have chosen Delos. My decision is final. Delos was picked to occupy. If changed, we should at least know why. Delos is inhabited. We're worried that Dunedin would soon make slaves of the population. What happens to them does not concern you. It does, when you want to use our transporter. The answer is no. Don Eden, why do you protest? It seems a reasonable request. Because it's impossible. Zebron lies on the far side of the galaxy Trivia. Its ruler, the Emperor Triton, and I are enemies. He would not let us pass through his territory. Why not send an ambassador to plead with Trivia's Emperor? Great idea. Chris and Alexio. They're good talkers. Hey, what are you getting us into? If you can arrange transport with Triton, I will agree to go to Zebra. However, if you fail, you must help transport us to Delos. I guess that sounds fair. And Lynn must be prepared to help us even if you don't return. Why wouldn't we? The Emperor Triton doesn't appreciate visitors. He has some amusing ways of dispatching them permanently. Oh.